I'd like to welcome you to the first installment of the 2012 Hiram College Football Dog Pound. This show is intended to bring in members of our football team to talk and learn more about them and also to update our current game that we play this week and review the game from last week and any pertinent information that the parents may need to know. This week I'd like to introduce the two young men that I have sitting next to me. The one right to my right is Brendan Rehor, one of our quarterbacks, senior captain. The one farthest to my right is Tom Moran, a senior tight end uh, on our football team, and he's also a captain. As we take a look at this, I want to talk to you about the upcoming season. This is going to be an exciting season in 2012 for the Hiram College Football Terriers. We've worked extremely hard during the course of the offseason. We've had several new coaches and onto our staff that will do an outstanding job of coaching our young men. And we've brought in a good mix of freshmen, about 55 freshmen, along with our returning players. And we are excited about 2012. We've lost some starters on the defensive side of the football, also on the offensive side of the football, but mainly on the defensive side. We will be much better on the special teams as we've added depth at every position on the special teams and tweaked our schemes to be more successful in 2012. As we talk now, I'd like to have Tom and Brendan introduce themselves, tell where they're from, and just get to know them a little bit better. Um, my name is Brendan Rehor. Um, I'm from Bay Village. I went to Bay High School. Um, I'm majoring in education, and um, I play quarterback. I'm Tom Moran. I'm from Parma Heights, Ohio. I went to St. Ignatius High School, and I'm majoring in political science. Good. Thank you, guys. Brendan, I'd like to ask you, you missed all of last season after being the starting quarterback as a freshman and as a sophomore. How does it feel to be back, and how has your progression gone to being back on the football field and how does it feel um it feels good to be back playing football again it's been a long year um but it's good to be back i feel good my arm feels good and um i'm excited just to you know to finish camp here and to start the season tom you've been through a coaching staff change as brendan has also but what things have you seen since this new coaching staff two years ago when coach moore came when i came in uh, what, have, what kind of changes have you seen in the program and in the leadership and in the things that we do on and off of the field? Uh, I think it's definitely been a positive change since Coach Moore got here uh, in terms of off-season lifting and getting prepared for the next season, uh, in terms of grade requirements, community service, things that we do off the field. I think it reflects well on the school as opposed to when the previous coaching staff was here, the football team didn't always reflect well or didn't always reflect Hiram well. Uh, and I think the quality of people that we brought in is a lot better since I've been here. And uh, we just have more high character people here over the past three years. Thanks, Tom. You will get to play because you gave a good answer there. Other than competing or winning, uh, competing or winning a conference championship, what kind of goals have you set for yourself or for the team this year as a team set that would help make 2012 a successful season? We'll start with Brendan. Um, I think goals are team goals are always good. Um, I think other than winning and uh, being successful on the field, I think some of the goals we set was just to play together as a team and not, um, I guess, not play as individuals or, or with low characters. Um, but I think if we do that, we set those goals, we play together as a team, we'll, we'll be all right. Tom? Uh, I think definitely winning and taking the program in the right direction is our main goal. And it's the 30th anniversary of the 1982 championship team. So it's kind of having our player reflect them and how they were as a team and how they're still close. And we've gotten to know a lot of the alumni on that team. And uh, just playing well to honor them and uh, having a winning season is our main goal. Great, thank you guys. Yesterday on the 22nd, we scrimmaged against Grove City here at home at 4 p.m. Some of the things that we did some really good things. Some of the things that we did well was we, we, we executed late in the scrimmage against a very good defense in, in Grove City. Uh, defensively, 
We gave up seven points and a half. We forced four turnovers in three quarters. We did some really good things. On special teams, you know, I think we connected on all of our extra points and field goals. The punt team needs a little bit of work. Uh, the kickoff team uh, did a really nice job. We've, we've got some tweaks in our scheme and things that we're putting in today. But as the head coach taking a look at it, we've got a lot of work to do. But there's a lot of positive things that we can take away from yesterday's scrimmage and carry into our game next week against Westminster. 2011, we opened up against Westminster at 7 p.m. at Westminster, just like we will here September 1st against Westminster at Westminster at 7 p.m. We, we expect to go in there and win the football game. We have some things. Last year we lost 17-6. to six. We had six turnovers during the course of the game. We were undisciplined in some of our approaches, and we really gave away a ball game. As I take a look at this year's 2012 team, I believe we're a much more disciplined football team. I believe we're a more experienced football team, and I truly expect to go in there and win every phase of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. They will provide us with a great challenge. But I really do believe that we're ready to go in and beat Westminster next week. Brendan and Tom, from a player's perspective, how do you prepare for that first ball game of the year? And how do you combat those butterflies that are associated with that first ball game of the year? Uh, well, firstly, or to start off, I think preparation is the key um, to succeeding. And I think in order to succeed, um, you need to prepare. You need to watch your film. You need to get in there with your coaches, have a game plan, um, and kind of and execute that game plan um, in order to win. Uh, but with the whole butterfly, butterflies thing, um, I think it's good to get a little nervous before games, but uh, you can't let it affect your play. If you if you let it affect your play, um, you know that's a different. That's a whole other issue. Um, but uh, you know, once you get out there, once you throw the first pass, once you get the first snap, you know you kind of get in the the game zone. So. Kind of goes away. Tom? Uh, well, especially against Westminster, it's arguably our biggest rival, and it'll be an emotional game. But uh, it's just the first play. Once you're out there, you have to get rid of the butterflies. And uh, I mean, with the crowd that they drew last year and they're probably going to draw again this year, it's hard not to have butterflies. But it's a good feeling, too, because uh, it's nice to play in front of a lot of people. And it's nice to know that you're in a big game. And, uh, I think, like Brendan said, it's all about preparation. If you have confidence in what you were taught to do and you know what to execute, it's always a lot easier going into that game. Thanks, guys. Again, alumni, parents, recruits, uh, you can get all the information to follow the game at Westminster, which, again, is next Saturday night, September 1st at 7 p.m. You can get all that information on the Westminster website. We're going to be doing this show every week. You should be getting a link to your email uh, that on your email that has everything written down, has a paragraph about some of the things covering the game. But if you go to our website, you'll also be able to see some different clips of this show and things like that on our website. But you will be receiving this on a weekly basis, so I hope you, that you look forward to seeing us next week on, the again, the 2012 Hiram College Football Dog Pound.